Hey guys, it's me, uh, that YGO player. Welcome back to a new video. Uh, today is a new duck profile. This is my um, horse Chimera Runic. Uh, so this is combined with my Runic horse deck with my Chimera Branded all together to make this really fun deck to play. So I'm playing like this, the Chimera engine. I'm playing the horse engine, which is like a little smaller than usual as you saw with the, the Runic horse. And I'm playing... Um, well, yeah, I'm playing the runic stuff. I'm playing, you know, it's a smaller list with the runic stuff. But yeah, um, I can't wait to show you this list. And here we go. I hope you enjoy this video because I feel like you will. And we'll start with the main deck. So um, we'll start with the horse stuff. So as we play, you know, three copies of um, MSC, which is your uh, discard him, discard another card, discard your King Sark, which is, you know, the craziest broken card ever. Uh, you know, the discard up to four times and send a horse monster. And whenever a horse monster attack, you send that monster to the graveyard and pretty much to redeclare, which is crazy. Um, then we have Blessing, which is gains 1200 for each horse monster on the feet on your field, including himself. And you know, also draws up the number of cards when you know, when one of your cards you know, leave the field by your opponent's card effect, which is crazy. Uh, Happy is the is the draw uh to get the two cards from your grave or banish and put it back in your hand or put in the deck which is cool and protector which is special summon a horse monster from your grave or or hand while your opponent play activates a card which is actually kind of crazy but yeah broken uh, i don't play the the quebec or quattro or whatever is the, the the fourth horse one because it's not the best in my opinion because it only protects from like your horse stuff and i just don't have the reason to activate it i never you i never resolved its effects at all i only use it for like a level eight as a level eight uh exceeds monster um next is the chimera stuff so i have the three sword knights which is a normal summon to tribute it to um special summon your big wing birth from it and it's a and that's how you search out your beast or, or actually beast and so you can set both or one at a time for your you know your gazelles and your chimera fusions also if it's been used as a fusion material you can um target one of your um one of your monsters in the graveyard and special summon it which is your sword knight gazelle is like the normal summon you get to search either or so your big wing or chimera fusion and also, forgot from here, and, and after you use that, you can search for Big Wing, you can, or for Gazelle, you can search your uh, Cornfield if it's used as a fusion material. Cornfield is a discard to search your Mirror Knight. So it's pretty much like a one-card combo if you don't have, if you don't get hit with an Ash or a uh, Draw Lockbird, because you summon this, especially summon that. Add Gazelle and Chimera Fusion. Use Fusion to, you know, chain block for the searches, because um the chimera rips a card and you search this you discard it to add your mirror knight so you get ready for a follow-up and while cornfield and mirror knights in the graveyard whenever your opponent uses card effects or monster effects um that could either target your cards uh you can just banish it and negate the effects which is actually really good Uh, next is my runic stuff. So I played the two fountains because um, you know it's semi limited. Luckily, they didn't get hit in the the ban list, which ban list was crazy. So this is the part where I'm playing the weird ratios of the runic stuff. So I'm playing the three tips, which is your searcher, which is like the best one. Then I'm playing the two of the best uh, runic stuff. So I'm playing the flash and fire. I'm playing the slumber. You know, flash and fire destroys special summon monsters. Slumber stops from uh, again destroying the first hit, but it can't attack. Uh, Destruction for the spell and trap negation, or this negation, not <laughs> this destruction, and freezing curse the, for the monster negation. So that's pretty much the main stuff for the runic stuff. I could play dispelling, and I really wanted to, but I just couldn't fit it. And I didn't want to have too many runic spells in my hand because it would kind of clog it up, and I won't be able to see my other engine like the horse stuff or the chimera stuff. Which I've been, but I've been, I think this is like the perfect ratio in my opinion because it was been perfect all day. Um, next is my, um, my, kind of my staples, since I, I have plenty of room to fit stuff in. Uh, I'm playing the Ash Blossoms. Uh, Triple Tactics, this was like the MVP most of the time. 
because people are inter like try to interrupt you during your main phase and you just play this. Like if I get hit with a draw, I just play this as rip a card out of their hand so they'd be at three, drawing their fourth card, depends. Or less because, you know, the Chimera Fusion Monster rips a card. Uh, the Call By, which is like, you know, since, you know, my deck does die by Shifter or Call By, it can somewhat stop of Ash to pinch your hand. Um, but yeah. And, and next is the three copies of tri uh, Triple of um, Infinite Imperms. So, yeah. Uh, next is my Fusions, which is actually, you know, pretty cool. Uh, here's the Chimera, uh, the King of Phantom Beasts, which is there, the one that rips a card if it's Fusion Summon. While it's in the graveyard during your main, your opponent's main phase slash battle, you just banish it and, and, um, special summon a Fiend, Beast, and, or Illusion, which is cool. Next is the Chimera, the Illusion Beast, so it attacks up the number of times the, how many materials you use a Fusion. I won with one game with this, and it is actually fantastic, because when it battles, it uses an effect on a damage count to make that monster go to zero, and the effects are permanently negated. And also, since it's an Illusion monster, um, when this monster attacks or gets attacked, uh, both monsters cannot be destroyed. So, yeah, cool. <laughs> um, then I have the Retriever, Magnum. Uh, since it's a um, it's a put back a fusion card back to your deck to draw or put it in the bottom to draw, or you can banish it to pop a card. So it's like removal, which is pretty cool. And the guy Garden Chimera, which is more removal slash draw, depends what materials you use to summon them. Uh, next is my level eight stuff. So here's the King Coach Bark. Uh, so this is the draw three or and burn eight hundred if you draw a monster. Since I'm since you know my runic um my runic chorus played it and the only monsters i had was like the three msds with one copy of each of the horror stuff including ken and jen so so this time i have more chances to draw a monster uh next i played the uh, number 38 cold hopper turn heart great card really fun it's a spell negation it goes to its uh over eight units and if you declare if your opponent declares attack you just use this effect to redeclare to him which is cool uh, next is Phot uh, Photon Lord. It's a monster negation. I think I like it. I think it's pretty good in my opinion. Maybe I could just replace it with something else. I don't know yet. But as of right now, this is a really good card in my opinion. And next I play uh, uh, Star Slash. Great card. This one actually won me a game uh, last week when someone put a Zeus on. They summoned twice or something like that. And I guess... Or they summoned their most extra deck multiple times. Because um, then after that, it was my turn. I was like, no one summoned question mark? He's like, it's good. And after that, I just slammed this thing down. I was like, all right. <laughs> and he did not know what the effect was until I had to tell him. Which is pretty funny. Uh, here's my runic stuff. So I play uh, two Hugans, which is your uh, field spell searcher. And the replacement effects, if you're a spell trap, you're about to get destroyed. Then we have things which is your which you add you the premise of field spell which is in the graveyard uh and and it destroys a monster uh, when it's destroyed uh um the runic main which is a cool card is like during your main phase or battle or your opponent's battle phase you can you know banish one face of card from both sides and yeah it's just like preventing for maybe lethal depends then i play the one um moon which is like uh your negation whenever your opponent targets uh uh targets your runic stuff that could be destroyed so and also gives you a thousand life points so you can try to go for game if you don't if you can't do the coach bark uh burn and after that my last card is little knight which is you know little knight is like one of the best Link rank two staples is so strong and so good. Um, all right. I hope you like the video. I hope, I hope you think it's a really fun deck to play. I really enjoy it. Uh, I've been playing. I've been doing it. I've been testing it in locals, and it's really good. It's very successful in my opinion. Uh, in the big leagues, I don't know. I'll find out whenever, whenever it's next regionals near here. I'll probably let y'all know. Maybe not. Um, also, I am releasing. Oh, let me see. I'm, I'm working on two more deck profiles, and I can't wait to show them whenever I get them filmed and post them on YouTube. All right, I hope y'all enjoy your video. Um, it's almost New Year's, so get ready for 2024, and get ready for that ban list in January 1st.
I hope you enjoy this. Thank you for watching my videos all those years. You know, I've been busy with school and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. I tried my best to make videos. And yeah, since I'm back home for this winter break and I can go to locals, have fun, chill and relax. All right. Well, anyway, I hope you have a great year. I hope I see y'all in 2024 and I see y'all next time. Peace.